even when things get tough, mastering adverb clauses of concession. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle an important topic in English language learning, adverb clauses of concession. This concept might sound a bit tricky, but don't worry. We'll go through it step by step to ensure you fully understand and can use this effectively in your English conversations. An adverb clause is a group of words that functions as an adverb in a sentence. Now, an adverb clause of concession is a specific type of adverb clause that contrasts with or contradicts the main idea of the sentence. These clauses often start with words like, although, even though, while, and, despite. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Although she had never danced before, she agreed to join the competition. He finished the marathon even though he was injured. In these examples, the adverb clauses of concession, highlighted in bold, present information that might lead us to expect a different outcome in the main clause. To form an adverb clause of concession, you'll typically start with a concessive conjunction, like, although, even though, while, despite, in spite of, followed by a subject and a verb. For example, despite the rain, we continued with the picnic. Here, despite, is the concessive conjunction, the ron is the subject, and, continued, is the verb. Remember, these clauses can go at the beginning or the end of the sentences. The primary purpose of adverb clauses of concession is to express a surprising situation or to contrast the main clause with something unexpected. It makes your English more fluent and natural by allowing you to show complexities and nuances in your statements. For example, in the sentence, she enjoys the beach even though she can't swim, we have a surprising situation. Someone who can't swim still enjoying the beach. And that's a wrap on adverb clauses of concession. As you can see, these clauses add depth to your conversations by allowing you to express contradiction or contrast. Keep practicing them in your daily English conversations. Even though they might seem a bit challenging at first, with practice, you'll master them in no time. Thanks for joining today's lesson. Remember, learning English is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to fluency. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in our next video. Happy learning!